What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recover lost tokens if you've accidentally sent them from one wallet into your other wallet. Uh, now this only works if you have the private keys for both wallets. So for example, if you sent them from your MetaMask into your Trezor, then this will work. But if you've sent this from your MetaMask to your Coinbase, this will not work. You need to have the private keys for both of the accounts that you've sent them to. In most cases, people, this happens usually if you've like had Ethereum sitting on the Polygon network or you had Ethereum sitting on Arbitrum and then you've sent it to your Trezor and you don't see it there, this is the video that'll fix it. All right, so in this example, let's say you have your Polygon account here loaded and you wanted to send your ETH into your Trezor wallet. So you send all of it over there and so after that's been sent uh you check your trezor wallet and it's not there so now you're freaking out because oh no i can't see the ethereum it's not on my trezor all you have to do right now is go back into your metamask and click on add hardware wallet and we're going to connect the trezor because that's where we sent the eth to and we're going to go through all this trezor stuff it's going to ask us which wallet we want to import uh in most cases you probably just look for the address that you sent it to so for this example, we sent it over here. And boom, now we have our Trezor wallet imported to MetaMask and we can see both accounts here. Uh, and keep in mind, this is on Polygon. So if we look at the Trezor wallet, you can see there's no Ethereum here. So now I'm gonna show you how to add the custom token so you can see the Ethereum is actually sitting in your wallet. So I'm gonna show you guys this tool called Etherscan and basically anytime you do something on the blockchain, whether you're sending or receiving tokens, uh, this is how you're gonna track your wallet activity. So we want to track the wallet that we sent it to. We want to track the Trezor. So we're going to copy this address and we're on Etherscan, which is not the one we need. We need Polygon Scan because this is on the Polygon network and every chain has its own version of this. There's an Avalanche, Avalanche Scan, Phantom Scan. So we're going to go on Polygon Scan. We're going to add that address that we just grabbed from MetaMask because this is the Trezor one. And we're going to paste that in and over here, we're gonna ignore all this crazy information. We're just gonna look at this part here that says token balance. And in here, you can see there's $92 worth. And there we can see the Ethereum. So the $92 worth of Ethereum is sitting there. It's 0.05 WETH, which is what we have. And then there's a bunch of other random tokens that are scams, uh, but we can just ignore those. So we're gonna click on this, the WETH token. And now we're here, WETH token, this is the contract address. So we're gonna copy this part. We're gonna go here to our wallet. We're still on the Trezor account. We're gonna import wallet, import tokens, uh, and then token contract address. So we paste this contract into the MetaMask section. And then it'll automatically fill out the rest, 18 decimal points. If you have an error here, uh, just make sure there's no extra spaces because that will trigger an error and it won't it will copy properly. So just make sure this is proper. Hit next, import, and now you can see your weth balance is sitting right here. So now we have this as wrapped Ethereum. Now the next step is if you wanna turn that to regular Ethereum, there's an additional step. All right, so basically to sum up everything, we've recovered our tokens on the Trezor by showing the, uh, by importing the token and, and getting the address from Polyscan. If you've had this problem on another chain that's not Polygon, then you can do the same thing with Arbitrum. You can just look up RB Scan on Phantom. There's something called Phantom Scan. So every single blockchain has its own explorer and uh, it's the same process. You would just look at your wallet and import the token and add it to MetaMask. Um, so that's basically the tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me get found on the algorithm. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be covering more reviews and more technical stuff like this. And please stay away from scams that are claiming to be my backup accounts. I only have one account, so uh, I don't I don't offer you know services like this. I don't recover tokens. I don't ask for your private keys. I don't ask for money. I don't invest money for you. So stay away from those scams. Thanks for watching. Peace.